Good morning. As we had a caravan for 30 years before we bought the motorhome, we were quite used to having the doors that were split, so like barn doors that opened, which meant that you could have nice fresh air coming in, but the dogs couldn't get out. So we've been looking for a solution for that, and today I think we've found it. There are other solutions you can do, but much cheaper, um, but they're, they're nowhere near as good as this one, as far as we know, we'll find out. Uh, the sorts of solutions that we've seen are solid bits of wood with perhaps holes cut out for the dogs that look quite humorous. It's a garden trellis that you just squeeze and open. But where do you put those things when you're traveling? They're going to be in the way. So the beauty of this product is it folds nicely out of the way. I also didn't want to have to screw anything into the, the wood surrounding the door area as the motorhome is only a year old. Um, but there's a solution to that too. So. Let's do an unboxing of this dog gate. Right, okay, so we're gonna unbox it, see what the contents is, and then I'll film the installation and the end result um, a little bit later. So, got my scissors ready. I'll just turn it around because it's got my address on the other side, which I don't really want to show. So inside, we have that and this. Okay. okay. So installation instructions for dog gate. Dog's gate being spelt dog hyphen G8. It's got a nice sticker. And what looks like a hat which holds it all together will be interesting to see if it rattles as we go along because um, i don't really want it rattling so if that doesn't work we'll have to find another solution so let's just let's open this bit up first nicely protected is the gate. Okay. I'll collapse it back up. Right, initial first impressions is this is good quality. This feels firm, doesn't feel like anything that's gonna break. I like the way it collapses back up. This moves so you can lock it in place. It's branded as well, so it's Dog G8, actually on all those bits and pieces there. Let's see what we've got inside the instructions. It comes with a very nice hat. And I believe that that will go over the top just to hold it all together. That looks nice. Right, now that's interesting because the brackets have already come with the sticky bits that I want to use, which is 3M. Now we may, we may replace those because of what we want to do. Um, I think they're called command strips which I know are very strong. And I know when you take them off afterwards, they leave absolutely no marks at all. Um, Cause I do want to be able to take these off if I, need, if I want to in the end. So I might just remove those and put my own ones on because I don't know eventually if I take these off, whether they'll leave a mark. We've recently removed some command strips after five years and they were very strong ones. Absolutely no marks left on the wall from um, a very heavy picture we were using. So that's what I'd intended to use, but but we'll see. So you've got four hinges and two, four, six, seven screws. Quick update, the missing screw has been found. It was in the hat, it fell out the hat. So that's no one's fault apart from me uh, for messing around with the hat first. So we have all the screws that we need. We're not a screw short, although I'm sure my friends 
I disagree. Right, so next we'll have a look at uh, the installation uh, and how it works in place. Now the beauty of this, we bought that there is a larger one, um, but the beauty of this, because of where we're going to use it in the motorhome, we can put it in different places and the dogs still can't get underneath. So we bought the smaller one, even though it's going to be higher up. Obviously these are designed that for use in homes and all different sorts of places, you know, by the front door, you can attach it to the front door and then dogs can't get out when you answer the front door. Um, so you might want different heights for that reason. We don't need to have anything bigger than this. So rejoin me as I install it, which will be on a campsite somewhere down near Dover. No, right, in, stay. So let's see if we can fit the stair gate, particularly without the instructions, because I'm a man. So we'll only use them if we have to. So here's the, the gate. Right, that bit lifts up and down and makes the lock. The idea it's going to fit on there on here perhaps higher up and then that will unlock it and it should fold up out of the way like that so i probably showed you these came with the sticky bit on the top i've taken those off because we wanted to use some other 3m stickers which are these 3M command stickers or command hooks, particularly because we know when you take these off, they're very easy to peel off. And this one will hold, as it says, 7.2 kilograms. We used it for a picture and it was really difficult to get the picture off. But once we did that, these just peeled off and then the wall, which was a painted wall, had no marks on whatsoever. And I don't want to damage the surface here. So we're going to use these. So first thing, is I'm going to put these onto the hooks. Okay. Possibly I could have done that neater. I wasn't in the scouts. I got kicked out of the cups. So four hinges, all now with the new sticky bits on them. Um, if you wanted to, if you're doing this at home particularly, they supply screws to go into the wood as well. But obviously, I don't want to damage my motorhome. Now we're going to find where we're going to stick them. Answers on a postcard for that. And I think about that level, Rachel. Because they're not going to go underneath, are they? Or higher? Out there? Yeah. Right, determining where it's going to go, I'm going to just mark it with a pencil. So I want it to fold away to this side, so the actual opening bit is going to be on the left hand side. So, so this is the shorter gate, but they're not going to go underneath it, so we're going to get it level with the step, maybe just up a bit. And then I'm going to mark roughly where that is. That'll be the top hinge on this side. Just take the sticky off. Just going to line it up with the edge. One hinge done. You really have to worry about it being level because obviously it's got to fit on here. So just going to determine where that where that's going to go. Just going to mark the top. Is 
theory this should work, if not, follow the instructions, not me. And that was the top. Two done. Well, that holds it already. So I'll pack out the way. Go across to this side. So we just pull the lever and fold it back. And it's out of the way. Now, so as I said in the unboxing, we have a little hat. So that just goes over. Only problem is it might flop while we're driving but of course it just comes off so we'll probably won't drive with it on we'll probably just pop it in and it can sit there when we need, until we need it spuck it out no you can't come out spuck it in tassie in you can't get in we're too big to go under here aren't we oh dear well we do that Come on then. Good girl. Right. Let's book it out. No, we can't get out. Let's book it out. Let's just wait, 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 When we travel, we'll just do this and pack it away. <laughs> 